Hi, welcome to Math Test Prep, where today we're going to answer a standardized math test question using mean, median, and mode of a data set. This question has four parts. I'm going to ask you to pause and solve after each part. The table shows the number of minutes a student spent drawing each day for six days. Part A, based on the table, what is the median number of minutes the student spent drawing each day for six days? Please pause now and come back when you have your answer. Welcome back. So we're looking at this table and we need to determine the median. To understand the median, first we need to understand that that represents the middle of a data set. So in order to determine the middle, we need to take our data values and put them in numerical order from least to greatest. So let's start. Our lowest value is eight. So we're gonna list eight and cross it off. Find our next value, 15, and cross it off. Now we're gonna add 16 and cross it off, making sure we're not duplicating. 20 and cross it off, 40, cross it off, 45, and we've gotten all of our one, two, three, four, five, six. So all six days are represented in our data set. Very important that you make sure you have all six items or you won't get the correct answer. Now, going back to the median, that's what we're looking for in this data set, and it's the middle. Since I have an even number of data items, my middle value is the between these two values. So we want the exact middle, so we have to find the average of 16 and 20, or what value would fall between. So we can see that 16 to 20, there's four numerical values between, half of four is two, so our median value is 18, and the median number of minutes that this student spent drawing was 18. Part B. Based on the table, what is the mode of the number of minutes the student spent drawing each day for the six days? Please pause now and come back when you're done. Welcome back. So we're looking to find the mode of the data represented in this table. To understand mode, it's the data value or values that occur the most. So mode can have no value, so no mode. It can have one number that occurs more than once, or it can have multiple data values that occur the same number of times. Looking over our data and knowing from the list that we made in part A, we know that none of the items occur more than once. Therefore, we can conclude that since each data value only occurs once, this data set has no mode. Part C. Based on the table, what is the mean number of minutes the student spent drawing each day for the six days? Please pause now and come back when you're done. Welcome back. So we're finding the mean in part C. Mean is the average of the data set. To find the average, we are going to add all the values in our data set. So when we add 20 plus 8, 28, add 16, add 40, add 15, add 45, and we get 144. So if this is a question that you're allowed a calculator, you could do that. I know my students will not be allowed a calculator. So if it were me, I would group this. 20 plus 40 is 60. 15 plus 45 is 60. 60 plus 60 is 120, and then we just have to add our 18 plus 16, which is 24. And 120 plus 24 is 144. So make sure you use paper and pencil and group it any way that makes sense to you, but break it down into simpler problems. Now that we know the sum of the six numbers in our data set, we need to find the average, so we're going to take that sum and divide it by the number of data items that we have. So we have data for six days, so we're going to take our sum of the data, 144, and divide it by six. Six goes into 14 twice. Two times six is 12. 14 subtract 12 is two, and we're going to bring down our four. Six goes into 24 four times. Four times six is 24, and we have a remainder of zero. So we can conclude that the average or mean number of minutes the student spent drawing each of day for six days is 24. Part D. 
The student also spent time drawing on day seven. The mean number of minutes the student spent drawing each day for all seven days is 30 minutes. How many minutes did the student spend drawing on day seven? Please pause now and come back when you're done. Welcome back. So we are looking to find the mean out of seven days. And we know that they spent 30 minutes average or the mean over seven days was 30. So that's not the number of minutes they spent on day seven. It's the average or mean of all seven days. So we know that we need to add a seventh day to our table. The problem is we don't know the number of minutes on that seventh day. That's our X, our unknown. So let's go back to what we do know. When we find the average, we know we want to add all our data items up and get the sum. So we have a problem because we don't know day seven, so we can't add these all up. However, what we do know is that we are going to take that number, that sum that we don't know what it is, and we're going to divide it by seven. And when we do, we know that our mean is 30. So we know our quotient. We know our answer when we divide this unknown sum by seven. So let's go back and look at our previous part. We had added a sum of the data and gotten 144 when we had six days. Our first six days have not changed. So we know that when we divided that this sum was of this value. We also know that when we have our quotient, our quotient multiplied by our divisor, six, was 144. So we know that our quotient, our average is 30. 30 times seven needs to equal 210, which means our sum of data is 210. So we're working backwards. 30 times seven is 210. 210 divided by seven will be 30. So now we know that our sum of minutes has changed to 210 after seven days. When it was six days, it was 144. So if we subtract the sum of our six days, we get 66. So that tells me that on day seven, the student spent 66 minutes drawing.